We might be up against like a Grandmaster player though. That's a pretty crazy win, right? Early on in this lane is pretty chill. Just try not to get poked down too much. He has the advantage in the first few levels. Looks like he's really trying to push. I have D shield and second win, so we're pretty beefy. Pretty good sustain as far as playing Ergot Giz. Nice how his poison like resets my D shield in second wind too. Oh, he was trying to blind me on that. It's kind of good if I eat like one auto attack every once in a while because I think it actually might heal me. Not exactly sure on that actually. Maybe I just heal back the auto damage. Ever since I've been playing these like range poke lanes a little bit slower early game, I've been doing a lot better against them. I feel like it's really easy to just like throw in the early game versus ranged as Urgot. And also just as a melee champ. Or like short range even. He's getting kind of low on mana, though. Maybe, maybe we can trade a little bit here. If I land Q. Maybe when he goes for the cannon, I'll try. Hard to land Q on a Teemo, though. Yeah, see, I, I don't like doing this. Sometimes I want to test the waters, because I'm also, like... I don't like to sit back and farm the whole time, but you kind of just have to. Like, versus a good Teemo, you kind of have to. He's not messing up with his positioning. The question is, is he actually going to back, or is he faking it? He could be stealth, like, faking it here. Alright, we'll just go straight for the Iron Spike. I like to do Stride Breaker Rush against Teemo. The way this works with Stride Breaker is you... Basically just land Q on him, or you can hit a minion to proc the uh, Heroic Gate passive. And then you can just run at him. I think Yumi's could also work too in this matchup, but I like to be a little bit beefy. Because Ignite Teemo does so much damage with PTA. We do have a little bit of kill pressure once I get 6 here. Nice, got him. The rat has been slain. And he's no TP. Yeah, level 5, level 6. After you get that first damage item, that's when you can try for the kills on Teemo. Nice. Holy is a pretty good wave here. Oh man, double longsword is tempting, but Boots is pretty nice too. With him having tier 2 shoes, it's pretty nice. And my flash is down, so I kind of want to be a little bit safer if we get, like, jungle ganked or something. I guess I should have swapped my uh, stealth ward to oracles, but... 
I'm sitting on two wards, so we can use this first. I should get a sweeper at some point, though. I always forget to do that versus Teemo. And then I just forget, like, the entire match. And then I remember right when I leave base. Classic. Oh, dude, our mid's gonna have a rough time now. The mid laner is probably also like a Grandmaster player. So I think their top mid are like Grandmaster, or at least Master Plus. We're playing in Diamond 2 for anyone curious, so it's not like... It's not like they can hopefully completely smurf on my mid laner, because he, he should still be pretty good. But yeah, we'll see. Friggin' Teemo blind, dude. This is really good, though. Completely tied in CS here. I think he's just scared to, like, be pushed up in the lane right now. Yeah. He's not even back, and he's just scared. I don't want to scout Shelly. We'll lose a CS for that. Every XP counts right now, pre-9. My level 9 is so important here. I wanted to go in there, but a little bit, little bit of a cooldown on my Ignite. So I kind of hesitated. Oh, he's baiting. I'm think I'm just dead here. Dang, if you didn't have that blind, I guess I would die during the pull though. Man, I guess I yeah, it's risky to play up in in the lane right now. It's kind of just always risky to play up in the lane, like not even right now. Just in general. Shut down. Enemy rampage. I like Merc Treads here a little bit better. Reduces blind. Dang, sadly their jungle's like really good though. He has 6kp already. And they get winning bot lane too. When the Smurfs also get the better players, feels bad. Like in their other roles. Surprised he's not going for that. I think we'll just have to go for an E flash, maybe. I need to land Q first, though. Ah. Got a nice cancel there on the Warwick ulti, but he can sadly just sit up here. Dang, man. I wish I could play this lane. Jungles are making my life so hard today in the games where I'm actually doing good. Hey, welcome back, gold lad. Oh, that's weird. So you're going to start the job before orientation? That seems odd.
That Ori has two levels on Akali. Do we need the grinder? I don't want to chaos though. Well, it's fun if I chaos without my grinder, but now we have kill pressure on Teemo still. So that's actually pretty nice. Oh, Warwick's actually bought too. I don't know if I can make something happen with my Q though. All right, we got him buttered up. Oh my god, I almost died of the tower, guys. Holy moly. We got the solo kill. If I... Nah, I think I can live a stream, actually. I definitely can now. I was kind of scared to move around. I want to go one more, actually. The Warwick is, like, scenting, but he was at Drag. Um, I do go approach versus Kale, but I I don't do it versus Teemo just because I like the uh, resolve tree. Like second win unflinching is so nice because unflinching also helps versus blind. If I go unflinching with Legend Tenacity and Merc Treads, his blind like almost doesn't even phase me. And then second win is just nice for the the bleed, obviously. So I, I do agree with you, approach is really nice, but... I guess this feels a little bit nicer. They're both good, but this feels a little bit safer to me. And then once I get stride, it kind of is my approach. It's like the replacement. I wonder if he's stealing our blue right now. Oh, never mind. Guess he was just getting like a deep ward or doing crab or something. Oh, I still forgot to get my sweeper. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite item into Teemo, man. Like, literally, you don't even have to land your E. You can just E to get in range to use your stride. That's so good. Now we're in business. Wish I could get his tower here, but that Warwick is scary, man. Ah, oh, really? I really hate when you're winning a top lane matchup so hard with the enemy getting like so much assistance and you're just getting nothing. But at least it is buying pressure for my team. I guess we are technically getting something pulling these guys across the map. It's just like, man, I could be winning so much more if they weren't helping him out, you know? We'll do a... Sterex and a cleaver here. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, did you see his blind there? It was like non existent pretty much. It's so nice. We have 45% tenacity, and then if I drop lower, the unflinching gets even better. You get 20% from unflinching when you're low HP, when you're at 30%.
I'm down a team fight right now. Team's doing pretty good. Definitely would be nice to get a third drag already. Oh snap. This doesn't look too good. Oh man. I'm missing everything. Really good for us though. Should be drag. I guess we're kind of just like a cheerleader or got this game. Watch my team do all the work. Oh, there's a Teemo Shroom. That might have actually been a kill if I didn't get Teemo Shroomed. Holy moly. We got to shut down Warwick here. I'm all in for it. That's a thousand gold. Akali just turned into Faker now. She is mega rich. God, that wind wall almost saved them. Can't tell if my team is wanting to fight here. I still got my grinder. Did we bait him? Nice. Let's go, dude. Huge bait. Kind of surprised they nuked Misfortune in time, but... I guess she's pretty squishy. Alright, sweet. We got our Sterex. We'll get Cleaver next. Sterex is going to be so nice. 53 AD, 900 shield. That shield's just going to get bigger the more HP we get. I think right now we can just play really slow for Ocean Drag, because it's already soul point for us. I mean, I'm down to fight too, but like, we shouldn't overforce for sketchy plays. We should just go for like guaranteed low risk plays. Because time is really on our side with that early, early soul. Oh, you're dead, my friend. Actually, you're playing Teemo. Oh, crap. This looks kind of bad. Really nice Zyra ulti, though. That kind of turned it. Ooh, the Q. Wait. Did he flash out of his Q2? <laughs> I think he flashed out of the damage. Like, before he connected fully. I actually didn't know that was a thing. I thought you were committed to your Q2 with Lee. But I guess he can flash it. Interesting. Yeah, he did flash out of it. I did not know that was a thing. I thought it was one of those things where, like, you can't use another ability while you're dashing, you know? Because sometimes it's like that. You're, like, fully committed to the dash. Timo's definitely not going to want to fight me at this point. Kind of want to push. Timo's going mid. 
kind of want to push, but I also want to see more on the map, and I want my team to have a bit more pressure. Okay, it looks like they're all around mid. Oh, they're going to try a Baron play here. I'm really far away, though. We can get there for the fight, though, hopefully. Like, even if they do get Baron, we can still fight, maybe. Oh my god, dude, I was about to penta kill. I was literally feeling the penta there. If I had my cleaver, that's a penta kill. That was such a huge fear. And I got a stride breaker on all of them, too. I hope we get dragon. We can sell D shield for cleaver, that's pretty big right now. Dang, I guess I can't go bot there. I wasn't expecting them to rush Baron like that. Pretty good on their side. Akali almost has Rabadons, and then she's going to go crazy. Do we make it in time to drag? Oh, they're not doing it. Nice. Going to get there kind of late again, though, maybe. Come on, man. We got six legs. Can we be a little bit faster? I don't know if we win a team fight right now. It's going to be really close. God, that fight, dude. I'm so glad I went Stride Breaker. This is what I like about Stride versus Yumi is you're a little bit beefy for team fighting. That's why I think it suits me really well. That was really well played, though. We used our Flash to uh, just like go back to the back line after that Orialty. I think that was good. Because it bought me time to just wait for my E. The thing that's a little bit sketchy about an early soul like this in a really close game is now they can play for Elder. So we really have to make sure we don't get like picked before Elder. I think since we got an Ocean Soul, plus we have like Lee Sin shielding, I'm gonna get a Spirit Visage here. A lot of their damage is magic too. Like even the Warwick is doing a pretty big chunk of magic. Ori's the big threat for me, too. Probably go, like, Spirit into... Either Randoons or Guardian Angel sounds kind of good. Randoons could be nice for that Yasuo. He's on he's on a hundred percent crit already. Timo's only level fourteen right now. They could send Yasuo to deal with my split though. I'm thinking that's what they do here. Go for this guy. Shut down. 
I think this is kind of okay. I am worth a big shutdown, though. But we should get quite a bit here. I'm glad my shutdown went to Teemo, though. He's not too scary right now. Nice. You can tell the Warwick is definitely just falling off as a champ. Like, he's still really fed, but he's actually struggling to team fight, man. That champ struggles a lot late game. Yeah, look, Ori did almost 2k still, even with me having a bunch of MR. Ori's one of the best mids in the game right now, and she happens to be really good against Urgot, sadly. Because she can, like, zone me off team fights. I kind of think they might try to rush Baron here. Did that Yasuo buy a... Oh yeah, he did buy that elixir. That like tanky one. Oh man, they're gonna rush this. Dang. That's really bad. I thought they were going to rush it, but we just didn't have enough vision to tell. Yeah, I need Randoons for the uh, Yasuo now. I think we just have to give this. We can hopefully just jump out. Oh, no. All right, I guess we play Elder Drag. It's not over yet. We just have to get Elder, hopefully. We can maybe fight here since they're kind of chunked. They can end the game if I die here. Wow. Okay, I thought Akali was actually dead there. Let's heal up and buy an elixir for the elder fight here, though. Just get all the value we can. We got press to attack this game. Almost 2k damage on it. I have everything for this fight. I kind of wish I had a stopwatch though. We kind of have to force because we're our mid's getting pushed in. I think they have teleport if they want to try to end too. Nice, perfect, man. That's how we do it. That misfortune ulti was huge. Honestly, I can stay on the map right now. I don't need to heal. I'm so happy I timed that ulti on the Yasuo on his uh, Guardian Angel revive. I actually mess that one up quite a bit sometimes. It's 4.5 seconds on the GA revive. Well played to misfortune ulti though, that was insane. Alright, sweet. Let's get our randoons and try to team fight while we have Elder. 
Because this thing does not last for very long. Build is looking good, though, dude. I might... I'll probably end up selling the stride for Jack Show if we make it that far. Jack Show with an Ocean Soul and, like, the rest of this build. I'll be so hard to kill. Definitely want to keep mid-pushed. This thing is already like 60% gone though. This elder. This thing runs out so fast. It's only two minutes. Oh my god, there's a Teemo there. They're scared to fight us with elder though. Wait, Ori doesn't have a stopwatch. Oh man, I should not have done that. Maybe it's okay though. They're probably gonna try to fight as our elder drops. I wish I didn't burn my flash, dude. We should reset and just get a top here. No reason to fight. Definitely the better play to just go top as a team. Because now we got both waves pushing. I could sell this for Jack Show right now. Honestly, yeah. I think it's good. We don't really need Stride at this point in team fights. I think it's better to just try to live. And like try to get a good fear off. Or just be a big meat shield. Whoa, what is this guy doing? Oh my god, that fear. That has to be game. That team fight has to be a wrap, dude. Biggest fear of my life. I got a I don't know if you guys saw, but I got a Randoon slow before that fear too. So, like, they couldn't run away from it. Can Mr. Teemo wave clear? I don't know. Their timers are actually kind of short. Oh my god, I landed that. Huge. Gotta get that last Teemo grinder before the GG, man. Nice. We beat the 90... I think they're like 95% win rate Smurfs. That's kind of crazy, man. Those guys have only lost two games. The Teemo and the Orianna. Leeson and Akali were so good. MF ulti was huge too, though. I wish I could honor everyone, dude. I really do. Holy moly, man. Almost 40k damage. Almost 16... 15k healing, dude. Wow. I guess we did have the Ocean Soul, though. That was nice, man. 